Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about journaling mistakes that you'll want to avoid if you want to make journaling easier. So maybe you're trying to create the habit, maybe you have writer's block and you don't know what to write, and, or maybe you just feel like it's a difficult task. I'm going to be sharing some mistakes you could be making that's making journaling a little bit more difficult for you. So if you can correct these mistakes, hopefully you can start journaling, get into the habit and make things easier for yourself. Mistake number one is believing journaling is going to wildly change your life. I see a lot of people talking about how journaling changed their life or how journaling has given them all of these great benefits. And yes, there are a lot of great benefits to journaling, but it's not something that's going to wildly change your life overnight or even wildly change your life in general. I do believe that there are a lot of benefits that comes from journaling, but a lot of that is progressive. So you don't just start journaling in like a few weeks, your life is completely changed. So if you go into it believing that and that's your goal, it may be making it difficult for you to sit down and journal because you probably are overthinking what you're doing. Mistake number two is believing that you have to journal a certain way or there are specific rules you need to follow. And I've been journaling for a very long time, probably since like 2000 or probably even before then. And anytime I try to follow some sort of structure or some sort of, I guess, rule or way of journaling, it really took away the satisfaction for me. I'm a big believer that there are no rules to journaling. There are no specific ways you have to journal. And I truly believe that how a person journals is a reflection or an extension of themselves, how they think and their lifestyle. So as a result, the way you journal is probably going to be a reflection of your own personality. So you may be a person who journals and writes your feelings, how you're feeling, your thoughts, your ideas. You may be a person that journals and writes your goals and your dreams and things like that. So I think whatever way you choose to journal, you will still get the benefit of journaling. It just depends on the person, what they want to journal and what they want to get out of it. The best thing to do is to not necessarily subscribe to any particular way of journaling, but how do you naturally feel? What do you naturally want to write? And that is what you should journal and you will still get benefit from it. Mistake number three is having a bunch of different notebooks for a bunch of different things. And I have to say, I am a one notebook kind of gal. If I can keep everything in one place, that's exactly what I will do. And at one point I did try to keep like several notebooks for several different things or several journals for several different things. I realized that it really just made me think about what I had to write so I could pick the correct journal to put it in. And to me, that defeats the whole purpose if you have to think about what you're going to write before you journal, at least in my opinion. So I just found it very restricting to have to pick which notebook, think about what I wanted to write and like pick the notebook to put it in. It just made things more difficult. And to me, that def defeats the purpose of journaling. So keeping several different notebooks for several different things is just a big mistake to me. I know a lot of people do it and maybe it does work for them. But if you're having issues with this, it could be beneficial to try and put everything in one place because that's what I do. I put my goals in my journal. I put my thoughts, my feelings. I have notes in that thing. I have, I just put everything there because nine times out of 10, you really don't go back and look at that stuff the way people think they may. And to me, that's the benefit of having one notebook is you can always go back and look at whatever you need to look at. You really don't have to sort through a bunch of different things. However, I find that you're probably not going to go back and look at it. So it kind of doesn't matter if it gets lost within the pages, but that's just my opinion. But like I said, if you're having issues with this, that could be the problem. Mistake number four is not being honest with yourself. And this is a really big mistake when you when it comes to journaling, because if you really want to get the long term benefits of journaling, you have to be honest with yourself. I mean, you can lie to the rest of us. But you can't lie to the journal. And if you do, like I said, it's not going to do anything. If you're lying to the journal, there's no growth to happen. There's no change. There's no evolution. There's no realizations. The realizations come from being honest. Mistake number five is trying to journal first thing in the morning. Now, I think traditionally journaling is something that most people think you do first thing in the morning. But the reality is you have to journal whenever the best time of day it is for you. So it could be at night. It could be in the morning or it could be on a commute to work. Maybe you ride like public transportation to work. You can journal then. It really doesn't matter what time of day you journal. So if you're having issues trying to find when to journal or maybe the morning time isn't the best time for you, it could be a mistake to believe that you have to do it in the morning to get benefit from it. You can journal any time of day, the middle of the day, at night. You can even do it at work 
on a plane. It really doesn't matter. Like I said, journaling is a very freeing thing to do. So you don't have to restrict yourself to doing it in the morning. You don't have to restrict yourself to doing a specific time of day. So if you are thinking that you have to do it first thing in the morning, then it could be a mistake if you're having issues with doing it in the morning. So try and experiment with different times of day and see what works best for you. And whatever works, that's what you should do. Okay, so those are my six mistakes that you should try and avoid if you wanna make journaling easier. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.